Legend has that there is a three card Monty that is unlike any other three card Monty. Or as a matter of fact, it is unlike any other card trick because it's so good. This trick has fooled thousands if not millions of mere mortals, even some of the most elite magicians. Recently, I have gotten a hold of this holy grail of a card trick and boy does it match the description. That is enough blabbering for now. Let me just show you what this trick is capable of. You see, I wasn't lying. This trick truly does come under the category of the best of the best. Well, that's because it was made by the one and only Magician's Magician. Take your guesses in the comments below. I'll wait, don't worry. Oh man, here it is. Ultra Monty. By the way, I should mention it will not be the quickness of the hands that deceives the eyes. I'll do it very slowly. I don't even mix the cards. You see the black ace is clearly on the bottom, which means if I turn them over, of course, it's on the top. I haven't cheated yet. It's coming up. Watch the black ace. I'll lay it on the table right there. The other two here. The black ace is definitely here unless I do the secret move, which is this. An amazing thing happens. The black ace is gone from where it used to be. It didn't jump to the other side. Actually, what happened is it jumped to the middle. Now, if you missed it, don't worry about it. I'll do it again. You will never win at this game, unless, of course, I want you to, uh, which I don't. <laughs> but to make it even easier, I say I'm going to play a little game of two-card Monty instead of three-card Monty. I will eliminate one of the losing cards. So all you have to do now is watch the black ace out of two cards. I'll put the black ace in my left hand, the red ace, the losing card, in the right hand, and I'll switch then switch them again. And that was the creator that is the Magician's Magician or Daryl Easton's performance. He's just so good at performing this trick. Or as a matter of fact, any card. And now it is time for my performance of this card trick. So stay tuned if you want to watch some top-notch quality sleight of hand. So as you can see right here, I have the three aces. The first ace that is the ace of hearts. The second ace that is the ace of clubs which is the money card and the third and final ace the ace of diamonds. And this is a simple game called 3 card Monty where all you've got to do is follow the ace of clubs. And normally people start by shuffling the cards thoroughly but I won't do that. I'll make it as easy as possible for you so you can follow the ace without any problem. And now I'll take the ace of clubs and set it down first and the two red aces beside it. So where do you think the ace of clubs should be? The card on the left, right? But what if I do the magical move? You see, it's no longer on the left. It's not on the right either. The ace of clubs has jumped in the middle. Wow. Since you weren't able to follow the ace of clubs, even though I made it so easy for you, I'll make it even easier this time. I'll take the ace of clubs and set it down first, and the other two red aces right beside it. So there should be no question about where the ace of clubs is, until I do the magical move that is and it's no longer where it used to be. In fact, it's not on the right, it's back on the left. Since you still weren't able to follow it, I'll be a nice guy and make it even easier for you to follow. I'll do something that has never been done before. I'll take an ace and remove it from the game. Now changing the game to a two card Monty. I'll give these two aces a bit of a mix up. Come on, I can't make it that easy for you now. Now where should the ace of clubs be? The card on my left? Well, actually that is the Ace of Hearts. The other card is the Ace of Diamonds. That's because the Ace of Clubs was never in my hand. It was chilling on the card mat all along. And that was Daryl's Ultra Monty. And that was the performance of the Ultra Monty. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this card trick. This is the second video on my channel about one of Daryl's card tricks. So go check out the first video as well. 
I'm sure you won't regret watching it. I'll link that video in the description below and whilst you're down there consider dropping a like and if you've come across my channel for the first time then click on the subscribe button with notifications on so you don't miss out on more cool videos like this one. Daryl has been a true gem to the card magic community. He has created so many tricks and flourishes. Daryl has also created an awesome flourish called the Hotshot Cut which took me almost 8 months to get done properly and god knows how long it will take me to master. I have also made a video about this flourish. It will be linked in the description below. Daryl sadly passed away as he was preparing for his next act in the green room. I'll also leave a link to where you guys can get this trick for yourselves in the description below. So go check that out if you're interested. Sadly that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys liked it and I hope this video made your day just a little bit better. And I'll see you legends in the next video. Click on this next video if you want to learn the secrets of card magic and also find out how you can win thousands of dollars in Vegas.